trying to grow bone of just a few millimeters.
Let me show you some re-entries. Here is a lateral wall width and extraction defect. There's the 10 screws. There's the autograft. Then the membrane, in this case, is collagen. The re-entry, you see the graft is there and the implant's going in. The defect that's irregular is hard to get blocks and other things in there where these 10 screws and this layer approach can fit irregular defects rather easily, which is an advantage over some of the blocks for these irregular defects. This is a Division B, of which a CAT scan was taken after the graft. This is re-entry in the graft. Again, the 10 screws give me a visualization of how much bone I'm going to grow. And when I open it up and I see the bone is right to the 10 screw, it means I got everything I was hoping to get. So we went from that Division B to everything I was hoping to get, and the implants can be placed prosthetically. And then the other side is done. Here's another re-entry, right to the 10 screws. Right to the 10 screws. The tent screws are placed, decorticated, the autograph, here's a re-entry, right to the tent screws. Irregular defect, there's the goal, there's the goal. Here's a re-entry, right to the tent screws. Defect on the palate, defect on the facial, here's a re-entry, right to the tent screws on the palate and the facial, allowing us to place the implants ideally. The 10 screws, the autograph, the layer of gross are re-entered right to the 10 screws. Defect in the mandible, there's the 10 screws. There's the layered approach. Re-entry right to the 10 screws. Maxilla, defect, irregular defect, hard even a block to fit that. 10 screws place, layered approach. Re-entry right to the 10 screws. Here's the histology, there's the graft, there's the bone. This is at four months, there's a, there's a vital bone, there's a graft. Vital bone, there's a graft. Vital bone, there's a graft. Biopsy, five, vital bone to the graft. Vital bone at four months, vital bone at four months, vital bone at four months, vital bone at four months. Biopsy six, biopsy, the summary of the five contiguous biopsies showing the amount of bone grown at the area at four months. Very predictable procedure whenever you're trying to grow a few millimeters of bone. The key then within that is that the keys to bone grafting are looked at. You look at the 10 keys, you look at what the whole site is giving, you look at providing the other keys, and as a consequence, they're very predictable procedures when you're trying to grow bone width or minimum height. If you want more than that, this technique, you're just going to start to push it. You go, go to a different technique. The different techniques, it's a little more difficult, a little more learning curve, because it's a larger volume, you get more tension on the incision line. So if you're in your early learning curve, you've done less than 100 grafts, you start with division B ridges, you know how to span the tissue when you don't have an incision line opening, then you can go to B minus W, then to C minus W, then to C minus H, and take this and eat this elephant one bite at a time. I'm delighted that you invited me to share this birthday with my mentor, Hill Tatum. I'm hoping I didn't disappoint him too much in today's lecture. I look forward to uh, the party tonight and the rest of your meeting. And I guess we're going to have a 30-minute question and answer period with Dr. Schnippen and Dr. Tatum at this point. So thank you for your attendance up to this point.